this is what happens like 100 times with us and you know <laughs> things break all the time uh, so we have this rule of 1000 is to 1 this was more of my mistake than it missed like i just punched up the throttle way too much so for every 1000 failures you get one success and that's when you're testing get ready so every time this happens we should actually go and check if there is something wrong so there might just be one you know one wire something off so it just depends on the intensity of how it crashes we are building really small drones so we put these things together and then we start putting the motors together we put the flight controller we put the other computers we solder things on and we have to be very gentle and very delicate because these are tiny parts put it simply no bees no food bees are dying and we need something to replace to pollinate these flowers once it finds a flower it's going to like go down so that's mimicking that it's collecting pollen then it's going to go up and it's going to start moving towards a random direction it it's like searching for another flower we have to rethink these algorithms from the ground up a few of these bee drones drop uh, from the mother bee and it starts to looking for the flowers 3 2 1 go it should be able to think act on its own and also like perceive the world around it by a bunch of sensors we have drones that can do autonomous navigation in the wild but they are huge they will definitely destroy these flowers this is the size of an actual sunflower so we are smaller than that and so we can actually do it every time it crashes it has the potential to just completely destroy itself It's it's almost heartbreaking to see it crash but it's all pa part of the process now. Okay, okay. Is it switched on? Yeah. And it also shows the values of the sensor so we can check so that it's actually check. working. It'll be amazing if drones can uh, fill in that gap and actually pollinate flowers. We are building them as autonomous as they can be. No human intervention, no external computers. And once I put my hand or some obstacle, it'll go right. Uh, University of Maryland is one of the leaders in computer vision and AI to building algorithms for uh, autonomous robots and self-driving cars. It's okay. And no, it's okay. Just do it. Being able to do what we do without those external dependencies, I think that's what we are most proud of. It will bring in the next generation of robots which are tiny.